Hi, welcome to my next video. This time another sketch with pencils and watercolors that I managed to do recently. But first I want to talk a little about the tools. I refreshed this small watercolor set that I have been using for sketching with some new exciting colors. I used three Schmincke paints, a Mijello color and then two paints from a company called Nila Colori, which is an Italian brand making watercolors from natural pigments. This time I aimed for a set that would be a bit more universal, so I included a cool and a warm red, a cool and a warm blue, and then an earth tone and a yellow that will allow me to mix some greens and some neutral tones too. The Schmincke Helio Turquoise is a color that I use a lot for my painting, especially for shadows and then mixes of neutral tones when I use red. And from the whole set of colors that I received for testing from Nila Colori some time ago already, I really liked the ultramarine blue because it was so vibrant and also gave a beautiful granulating effect when mixed. It's just a beautiful paint. I also like the earth color, the red ochre. It's nice and vibrant on its own, but it makes beautiful kind of neutral tones when mixed with both of the blue colors. So it's really useful to have in a set. I think that overall the colors I chose have a lot of character and are kind of interesting when they're used alone or in the mixes. And this is partly what I aimed for here. Okay, so let's try them. On one of the first days that it got a bit cooler here in Japan, I went really early in the morning to a nearby Japanese garden to try and do some sketching outside. I took my watercolors and my pencil set to do a sketch and then color it with the simple watercolors also outside if I can. I went early in the morning, it was still kind of cloudy, there was almost no one in the park, I think like maybe two people. So I could choose whichever bench I wanted, whatever sketching spot I wanted and just plop down and start working. As always, it was hard to film the first stage of my sketching. It was even harder to do it outside because I was using a pencil, which is called Big Evolution, to do a very, very light underdrawing. I'm using this pencil to do very light lines so I don't have to erase them afterwards. I will just draw thicker, blacker lines with the Blackwing pencil later and I'll just leave the underdrawing as it is. It was very nice to just sit there and sketch with almost no one around and just the staff of the park doing something like really far away. That is of course until the clouds kind of disappeared and the sun decided to try to roast me alive there. So about halfway through the sketch I decided that it was too hot to finish the whole thing outside still. So I just finished the clean pencil lines and then went home to color.
For the coloring here I wanted to keep it simple and kind of light, not to overwhelm the picture with too bright and too saturated colors. Especially in the background I wanted to show the distance, so I tried to keep the watercolors very diluted. Overall I wanted the pencil lines to stand out in this piece so it looks more like a watercolor sketch with light washes more than a full blown watercolor painting. And Either way, this watercolor sketchbook, so the Hanemule watercolor book, is not very well suited for heavy watercoloring, especially using heavy washes. It's good enough for light layering like I did here and I wanted to keep it at that. The only place that I used more heavier concentrated colors were the grasses in front because I wanted to make them pop out a bit and make them seem closer. Okay, so the picture is nearly finished. I'm really happy with how the watercolors worked with each other even though they are different brands. I will try to do a different painting that will show more what this set can do and more of the mixes that are possible. Okay, but for now I was happy that I could go out a bit to do some outside drawing. Okay, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. As always, feel free to comment, share and subscribe and you can also support me on Patreon. It's your support on Patreon that allows me to do my own work and these videos. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye!